All right, so hello everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to my talk. Uh, I will try to show you uh, a few different ways of uh, generating content ideas for your website or for any web industry if you, in which you might be working in. I will show you some tools that I found uh, helpful in generating those uh, ideas quickly and easily uh, for free. So uh, first we'll talk about uh, finding those popular topics uh, in your industry and then we will try to get an estimate of how many people might be searching for those uh, questions, topics uh, uh, every month on Google. So uh, let's start with uh, Google Autocomplete Suggestion. It's a feature that Google added to their uh, search. Uh, whenever you start typing a word or a phrase uh, in Google, it will give you a few suggestions of popular topics that other people are searching every month uh, online. Um, just to help you type in the whole phrase uh, much quicker. Unfortunately, uh, Google only shows you eight suggestions, uh, which is not very helpful uh, for us. Uh, therefore, there is a tool, fortunately, it's called uh, Answer the Public, that uh, pulls uh, out the suggestion um, information from Google database via their API. And in this place, you the whole list of uh, out suggestions on any topic, and it also uh, adds additional characters after your starting word or phrase, just to give you an extra uh, suggestion, more than 20. Uh, we see that uh, it gives you even a few hundreds of suggestions. Uh, so there are a few different options. You can uh, choose uh, a suggestion for an English or Spanish, Italian, and a few other languages. Uh, depends on in which market you operate. So once you type in WordPress in this tool, it gives you a, um, a nice visually um, listed uh, auto suggestions uh, that you can then uh, uh, export into a CSV and uh, modify and filter, sort in Excel. Uh, it uh, gives you, as you can see, there are 473 uh, popular phrases and uh, words that are found that I searched online on Google. Um, this is one of the graphs that uh, it uh, generates with uh, auto suggestions uh, sorted, grouped, and um, with uh, question words like can or where or why, uh, and some of the topics that you might uh, want to write uh, about, which are highlighted here are uh, what, how WordPress works, or uh, uh, about WordPress hosting. Here uh, you can see all the suggestions grouped in, uh, in, pra in uh, praises, like uh, for, with, without. This group shows you uh, comparisons, for example, WordPress versus uh, Drupal, or um, WordPress like uh, Facebook page, which you can you then export as I saw, uh, as I told you, uh, into a CSV and uh, um, start working on those topics in Excel. For some reason, I like working in Excel with, uh, with um, those uh, lists because you can then add additional uh, labels to those um, uh, auto suggestions. For example, if there's a competitor in the industry, you can. Uh, quickly filter all autocompletes with that competitor, or if you would like to, uh, you're interested in finding um, search queries about problems uh, around this topic, so you can just filter all uh, auto suggestions uh, that contain a word problem or how to fix something. Unfortunately, uh, fortunately, uh, Google doesn't uh, show all so auto su autocomplete suggestions. Uh, uh, in this way, it removes all spam, uh, dangerous, and violent, uh, violent uh, predictions. It also removes all the uh, piracy-related uh, out suggestions. Um, next, uh, you can also find these out suggestions um, on Amazon or eBay or an App Store or on YouTube, and. Uh, 
identify what topics are being searched on these platforms because they are very different from Google uh, the topics will be slightly different for example on YouTube uh, many people will be looking for video tutorials on Amazon they will be looking for books or products uh, like uh, WordPress Swag uh, or uh, on App Store they will be looking for applications that help them um, solve a particular issue on mobile around the, the topic that you're searching for. So a tool that helps us uh, do that is uh, Keyword Tool. It's free, there is a link. I included links to all those tools in the left uh, bottom corner. Uh, as you can see, you can choose uh, in, on which platform you would like to um, search for the suggestions. Let's go for uh, Google for, uh, first. As you can see, it gives you a list of uh, 705 uh, unique keywords uh, uh, suggestions that you can then export and uh, work with uh, later. Uh, for YouTube, it found 450 very popular and uh, relevant uh, phrases that users are searching for on, this, on that platform. On Amazon, there are 83 uh, WordPress-related uh, search uh, suggestions, uh, autocomplete suggestions that you could use uh, to write content uh, about. Uh, the other ways that we can um, use to find interesting topics to write about or to create uh, an article page on your website. Uh, the website is uh, called Quora uh, and it's a <coughs> website in which customers, are, users ask questions and community members try to answer those questions as best as they can. There are also many uh, experts uh, that uh, share their, if their experience and knowledge on this uh, website. It's very, it's very popular and uh, very helpful because at the same time you get the question uh, from a user but also uh, suggested best answers to that question. Uh, which speeds up the, the content research uh, process and allows you to much quickly um, identify information that you'd like to include on your article or on, on your uh, content page. And the other uh, very helpful website is uh, Reddit, uh, on which members share content around this topic, uh, on any specific topic, um, like uh, images, uh, videos, uh, articles, and then all those topics are being upvoted. Uh, the most popular one are, are highlighted uh, at the top. Uh, uh, people also have a conversation about uh, these topics, so you can uh, uh, jump into the conversations and try to uh, get more information from users uh, or what kind of content they would like to uh, read about. Um, another method that you could use, you could print out uh, uh, list like this and it gives your customer service or sales uh, representatives because customers are asking those uh, representatives uh, all the time uh, questions that um, they have a hard time finding online or maybe on your client website or on your website. So you, would, you can print out this uh, list, give it to them and they can write down a question um, that the customer asks them and then check the box each time this question or very similar question is being asked and this this way you could quickly identify questions that uh, your customer audience or cust your, your clients customers are asking or having a hard time finding on their websites because maybe it's um, it's not there or maybe it's uh, deeply hidden um, um, deep in the website so uh, it's a uh, very nice way to, to find those uh, questions. Uh, another tool that you could use is Blog Title Generator. So you basically type in the, the keyword that you would like to get uh, content ideas uh, around. You can select what is it, give them a, is it like a general term or maybe it's a brand or maybe it's a, an event. And based on the patterns that they found uh, online, among most popular um, or shared articles. Uh, they can generate uh, interesting titles that you could uh, use to write articles about. For example, here's a, a, few li a list of 1,168 potential titles that you might 
be interested in writing uh, an article about. Uh, one more tool is very, this one is very similar, but it gives you one um, suggestion at a time, but it gives you also information why it thinks this is the uh, a very interesting uh, title for your for your audience. Um, so now let's uh, see a way of how we can uh, now get this list of all the potential topics that you would like to write about and get information on what are the most popular or most often searched uh, um, terms or queries on Google. There's a tool um, called uh, Keywords Everywhere and you can simply copy and add the, your, your list to this tool and it's free and it will give you an estimated uh, amount of times that people are searching for these terms and it will also give you uh, cost per click on Google AdWords and uh, how competitive uh, this keyword might be among all uh, advertisers on Google search. Uh, it pulls this information from Google uh, uh, Keyword Planner. So um, now uh, I'll give you one page um, tool that you could use to get even more um, uh, potential topics or information about relevant uh, keywords around your main topic uh, online. It's paid, unfortunately, but you can uh, get a trial version for seven days for seven dollars, which is very, um, it should be accessible to everyone. Uh, and uh, that's plenty of time to get all the data that you'd like to um, uh, find uh, around. The, the topic, the main topic that you are interested in. Uh, so if once you get access to this tool, you can go to Keyword Explorer and then type in the, your main keyword, select in which country you would like to uh, search for those uh, relevant key terms, and you will get similar data, uh, list of keywords, then estimated volume, search volume, so how often every month uh, people are searching for uh, uh, these terms. You can export in CSV file again uh, and work with it with this list uh, in Excel to group similar topics into one uh, or uh, find a specific topics like problems, uh, for example. Uh, as you can see, it gives you a list of 104,000 uh, uh, relevant keywords uh, around WordPress. And they have also a section dedicated for questions with all questions highlighted, uh, listed on one page, um, which gives you quickly uh, very helpful ideas on the titles that you could create uh, for, those, uh, for those topics. And the last section I'd like to show you on this, uh, in this tool, uh, there are many, many, many more, uh, is uh, Site Explorer. So basically you could uh, add over here a uh, uh, URL of your client or of your competitor and you will get a list of uh, all search queries for which this tool found uh, one or more pages ranked in Google search. So for example, uh, uh, WordPress, um, it, this tool found WordPress page, wordpress.org page uh, rank for each of these keywords. Uh, which is uh, not a surprise because they are very, um, very uh, popular uh, search terms, but also it found a WordPress page for uh, 827,000 different unique uh, keywords uh, search terms that are relevant to uh, WordPress.org. So you could uh, search for your competitor and get an idea for what kind of topics and um, their pages, the pages ranked uh, online, and you can try to create a similar contents on, uh, or hopefully better contents uh, than they have. Thank you. That was quite quite fast. <laughs>